Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Hurd, you've testified repeatedly that you were concerned about Mr. Depp's substance use during your relationship, right? Yes, that's correct. And, but you weren't concerned enough to stop using drugs and alcohol yourself, were you? I did not use drugs when I was with Johnny, like in his presence, aside from the times I testified about with you. So you weren't concerned enough to stop using drugs and alcohol the times you testified to in front of this jury, right? As I testified to earlier, I took drugs um, in Johnny's presence on those two occasions um, early in our relationship in 2013. So you never changed your own behavior to support Mr. Depp and his sobriety, did you? I did a lot of changing to support his sobriety. I tried everything that I could possibly think of. But you drink wine around Mr. Depp on a regular basis, correct? I did drink wine. And you took Mr. Depp to Hicksville to do, quote, laffy drugs like mushrooms, end quote, right? That's correct. And you testified that despite what supposedly happened in Hicksville, you decided to take MDMA with Mr. Depp on a plane to Russia in June of 2013, correct? As I mentioned, those are the two occasions. You testified that this was the last time you would make that mistake, right? That is correct. And when asked if you would ask Mr. Depp to get you MDMA in Australia, you said that was, quote, ridiculous, right? That is correct. Because you had learned your lesson the hard way on the plane to Russia. Russia, yes, that's correct. Uh, yours and Mr. Depp's wedding in the Bahamas was in February of 2015, right? That is correct. So that would have been after the Russia flight. Yes, when I did, um, when we had mushrooms on the island for my hen party. My wet bridal party before. We were not with Johnny. I was not with Johnny at the time. It was your wedding with Mr. Depp on the island, right? To be clear, we were both on the same island. We just weren't around each other that evening. We had kind of separate parties, a bridal party and a groom's party. And, and your wedding was a month before Australia, correct? That is correct. And you arranged to have drugs at your wedding, correct? Uh, like I said, we had mushrooms um, for my bridal party beforehand. On the island for your wedding? Before the wedding. On the island? On the island, yes. Okay. Can we please pull up plaintiff's exhibit 1262? This is an email you sent on February 1st, 2015, correct? That is correct. Uh, yes, that's correct. Okay. I'm going to move to admit and publish plaintiff's exhibit 1262. Any objection? Yeah, sure. All right, since we have a little bit of time, it seems. Thank you, Your Honor. If we could please have Ms. Hurd's email published to the jury. All right, 1262 in evidence. This is a schedule for your wedding weekend, right, Ms. Hurd? No, it's not. It's a proposed draft of a schedule. It ended up being quite different. Do you not. see where it says 7 p.m. rehearsal dinner? Yes, I see that. And the next item on the list says, quote, after dance party and drugs and music, end quote, right? That is correct. So you plan to have drugs at your wedding to someone you characterize as a drug addict? To be fair, we were going to have separate parties, as I mentioned, so a bridal party before this, the schedule ended up changing quite a bit, and this is a draft, clearly, that was sent before there were a lot of changes made. The bridal so party your original and the idea, Ms. party Heard, were Ms. Heard, Your original idea was to have a rehearsal dinner with your husband, the drug addict, the monster, 
um, and then do drugs with your girlfriends on the island after your rehearsal dinner? I realize that's what the email suggests, but that wasn't No, a plan. it's not what it suggests, Ms. Heard. It's what you said in that email. Right, but what I'm trying to say is that the schedule ended up changing. We ended up doing the little So your original as I idea it, was cuddle, to do cuddle drugs. Before. Yeah, your idea, original idea was to do drugs on an island after your rehearsal dinner to the drug-fueled monster that you were about to marry, right? The, the, as the email suggests, there, were go there was going to be weed on the island. This does not reference the cuddle puddle that I just referenced to you. You like to do drugs on special occasions, right, Ms. Hurd? I have, before. And, and you did drugs again for your 30th birthday. Right? That is correct. That was a huge mistake. Your 30th birthday dinner was on April 21st, 2016? Yes, it was the day before my birthday, correct. And you testified that Mr. Depp was running late to the celebration, correct? That is correct. And you asked Mr. Depp to bring you alcohol when he arrived, is that right? So the utility closet where we kept the wine was right by the elevators. And I also told him he could bring in a joint. I wouldn't bite his head off if he did. So that's a yes? That's correct. I, I told him I wouldn't be angry. Okay. Let's look at Plaintiff's Exhibit 1263. Your Honor, I'm going to ask to show, first of all, this one hasn't been produced. This has not, it's a brand new trial exhibit, so I don't have it. I'd like an unredacted copy, and then I'd like an unredacted copy to be shown to the witness. All right, do you have an unredacted copy? We can, we can make one, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, may we approach about All this? Right. Thank you. Okay, so that's concerning that Amber Heard's team is saying they haven't received a copy of what counsel for Johnny Depp is intending to cross Amber Heard on because there's something called discovery in trials. You may have heard about that where think of it like sharing where each side produces to the other side uh, what they're going to be introducing at trial. Uh, it's kind of a rule of fairness. Uh, something else I want to point out and, and, and we obviously aren't able to interject at every point during this trial, but this is an important point. Um, I've noticed this multiple times this morning that Camille Vasquez talks over Amber Heard when Amber Heard is testifying. And I've been in front of many judges who will never tolerate that conduct by a lawyer uh, because it's very important that the court reporter takes down every single part of the answer. Even if you're the attorney and you don't like the answer, you let the witness answer. And this is really on Amber Heard's counsel to be standing up and saying, Your Honor, please instruct. Mr. Depp's counsel to not talk over the witness, but they're not doing that. So Camille Vasquez, uh, to her credit, keeps controlling Amber Heard very well on the witness stand. And Amber Heard's team is not jumping up and objecting and trying to control the cross-examination as they should be. It uh, looks like they're still at sidebar. Let me bring in Jack Rice. Uh, so any objection 1263 as redacted? No, no, Your Honor. All right, 1263 in evidence. So, thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Heard, directing your attention to the plaintiff's exhibit 1263. This is a text message that you sent to Mr. Depp, correct? That is correct. And, and you sent this message to Mr. Depp the day you had your 30th birthday dinner, right? That is correct. And you write, quote, hey, baby, bring up something to drink and or a joint. I'm in if you are. See you in a minute, question mark, XX. Did I read that right? That is correct. And then the next day you went to Coachella and consumed MDMA and mushrooms, right, Ms. Heard? I did. Johnny was not there for that. Right. Let's talk a little bit more about your 30th birthday. You testified about this incident multiple times, haven't you? That is correct. But yesterday you told this jury that you were not called upon to provide a detailed accounting of all physical and sexual abuse by Mr. Depp until February 2020. Is that correct? I testified that I had not been able to do so until February 2020 in uh, uh, outside of the context of a cold deposition. Actually, I, I misspoke. February 2022, this year. Right, sorry, I, I did the same thing you did. Okay.